A footer is a small block of text that appears at the bottom of every slide. You can easily add a footer to include things like the copyright or the word confidential to the bottom of all your slides. If you're printing handouts, you can also add a header, such as the presentation title, which will be printed out with every slide to your audience. To add a footer, let's go to the Insert Ribbon tab and select Header and Footer. So the first tab is to insert a header and footer into our actual slide. Now we have a couple of options. We can include the date and time, slide number, or our own footer. We can also add all three of these things. Now we know where they're going to go on the presentation because if I place a check mark besides date and time, over here on the previews tab on the right hand side, the little black box appears where that date and time is actually going to go on the slide itself. Now I can either have the date and time update automatically, which means every time I open my presentation, the date will be automatically reflected to the current date, or I can come down here and select fixed date, which means I can put the date in and it won't change every time I open my presentation. Now this is useful if I want the date to be the date I actually created the presentation, not when I'm actually giving the presentation. I can also come down here and insert the slide number. As I can see from the preview tab, this is going to go all the way to the right. And then I can also add a custom footer if I want. Or even the word confidential or everything. I can also select don't show on title slide. If I want my title slide to be nice and pretty and free of any footers, I can come up here to the Notes and Handouts tab and I get one more option. I can also add a header. I can place a check mark beside this and put in whatever I want, such as New Hire Guide, which is the name of my presentation. Now, this doesn't get populated automatically, but it does remember what you had in there last if you wanted to put something new in there. When I'm all done, I can select Apply to All. And now, on the bottom of all my slides, I can see my footer. If I want to change where they are or how they look, I can do that from the Slide Master. And that's by going to the View Ribbon tab, selecting Slide Master, and coming down here and changing my footer. For example, I can highlight it and make it bigger and bold, or I can actually move the position of where they are. For example, I can bump it over a little bit like we did last time. My slide number, I can move that over too. It's up to me. When I'm done, I can select Close Master View. And now my footer's been changed at the bottom of all my slides. At any time, if I decide that I don't want a footer anymore, that's totally fine. I can go back to the Insert Ribbon tab, select Header and Footer again, and simply uncheck anything that I don't want. For example, maybe I don't want the slide number. I can click Apply to All. And my date and confidentiality statement still stays, but the slide number is gone. Another great feature about using footers in your slides is that every year you can update these slides to reflect any business changes in the content and then simply change the copyright date. So now you're only changing things in one place and that change will be reflected on all your slides.